All right, folks. All right, folks, you've made it. We're in the final stretch of this. We're in the appraise it section. This is all about your ability to communicate what's happened up to this point. So here's what's going down in this section. Uh, first things first, I want a screenshot of your remix code. Now, I recognize that your group is doing this all together. You're gonna have to share this screenshot. One person take it, share it out to their group. Email it, Google chat it, Microsoft Teams it, whatever. Share it out to the rest of your group. I want everyone to upload a screenshot there. Second thing, a link to your code. Okay, so when you come into your code here and your code is done, you share, you publish, you copy that link so that everyone in your team, and then you share it with everyone in your team so everyone in your team can have access to it, okay? Then, I want you guys to break it down for me. Who worked on what? Now, remember, this is individual, so uh, honesty is appreciated. Uh, if you did all the work, okay, well, say it in there, okay? Um, what group member worked on what part of the project? Now, this next part, I think you guys should be doing this together. I want a Screencastify video or some kind of video. Um, I want you guys to walk me through the project. Do it as a group. Every group member explain the parts that they are an expert on. If you were the builder, explain how you build it, built it. How did you get the servo motor to actually open a door? Okay, that link to that video will go here. You'll need to record that video as a group. Now, uh, I have two outcomes on here that I want you guys to fill out individually. This is how you plan in response to challenges, this first one. So here's what I wanna know. What did you and your group do to plan for your project? Give yourself a mark, justify it. What did you do? What specific things did you and your group plan out? Uh, I'll give you a hint. If you just scroll up to the top to the planet section, you'll see some things that you did. Make sure to list off why you did those things, okay? Uh, next, I develop skills that support effective relationships. So the question here, uh, give yourself a mark, but the question I'm gonna ask you below, what did you and your group do to make working together successful? What did you guys do? How did you collaborate? How did you divide it up? Give me specific things. What did you do? that made it successful so you could finish your project. Now, if you weren't successful, tell me about that. Why weren't you successful? What could you do differently the next time around? Now, let me give you a couple tools to share these things around. One, uh, you can email each other. So if you need to email each other all the different links and files, STL files, because everyone needs to upload everything, send an email, put your whole group in there. So if I'm in a group with Mr. Wetton, oops, uh, Mr. Wetton and Mr. Knitter, uh, I'm gonna put both of those guys in there and now I can start a group thing there. Let me also show you, this is called Google Chat. I can create a new chat group. I'm gonna create a group conversation. I'm gonna go to Wetton and I'm gonna go to Knitter and when I'm done, I can click check mark and this is just like texting. Uh, you'll see us down in the corner here. Down in the corner here, here's new chat. I can drop in things like files, I can drop in things like links, uh, I can put all that kind of stuff in there so that it's easy to access. And then of course, the last thing we'll talk about is Microsoft Teams. You can use Microsoft Teams to send each other files and links back and forth. I don't care what you use, make sure, because everyone needs to upload this and I don't need everyone to have their own STL file, use one for your group, but I need everyone to upload that STL file. Okay, so not one person is uploading for your whole group. Um, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, hopefully that you have all the tools that you need. If not, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, congratulations, at this point, once you've submitted all those things, you have successfully completed phase 2.2. .2. Uh, we're coming up on phase three really quick where you guys are gonna be building your own projects, uh, which is really, really, really cool. So we will talk about that very soon. See you guys.